When hauling and towing moderate to heavy loads, the rear end of the Ram tends to sag, making it unsafe and unstable. So today we're going to make this Ram handle a whole lot better with this Airlift Air Spring Kit. This is Airlift's Load Lifter 5000 Air Spring Kit, designed to fit your 2009-18 Dodge Ram. It comes with two heavy-duty air springs that offer up to 5,000 pounds of leveling capacity. Heavy-duty steel brackets are also included to make it an easy bolt-on install. It'll help to prevent your truck from bottoming out when hauling and towing, and it'll make it brake and handle better for a safe and more enjoyable experience. For more information and pricing, click the link in the description down below. Now let's get to the install. Tools you need for this installation, quarter inch ratchet, eight millimeter socket, three eighths ratchet, 14 millimeter socket, seven thirty seconds hex key, an extension, half inch wrench, 14 millimeter wrench, a drill, five thirty seconds drill bit, safety glasses, and a pair of cutters. First thing I'm going to do for this install is install the air fitting into the airbag. We're going to tighten it down with a half inch wrench. Place one of the perches around the air fitting onto the spring. Line up the bolt holes and then put it on top of the bottom bracket and then secure it with the provided hardware. Install the center bolt right here. You're going to be tightening these bolts with a 7 30 seconds Allen key. Make sure that your air fitting is facing out towards the side right here. Install your upper perch and bracket. We can now assemble our bump stop bracket. If you notice on the inside, there's three slots, one here, here, and the third one's up here. You're gonna take this larger retainer and put it on the very bottom slot, just like that. And then the smaller retainer for the four wheel drive model, which is our truck, will go on the very top, just like that. Flip it around and secure the plates with the provided cotter pin. All right, now we're over at the truck. The first thing we need to do is remove the factory bump stop. Just grab onto it, twist it, and pull it out. Install our assembled air spring onto the axle. And there are two factory holes on the axle right here that we're gonna attach it to. Slide the air spring forward to lock it in place right here. And then we can install our two bolts. To install the other bolt, you will have to tilt this back to slide it in. Install your nut on the other side of the bracket onto the bolts that you just installed. We're gonna be using a wobble extension and a socket to get this nut on. With both nuts in place, you can tighten them down. Place your bump stop bracket onto the bump stop that's on the truck. Just like that. Then you're gonna take the supplied U-bolt and secure the bracket to the bump stop. And then install two nuts on the back side. Get both of these nuts started, but don't fully tighten it just yet. Now we have to attach the air spring to the bump stop bracket. We're gonna install the four bolts onto the bump stop bracket, and then lift this up and attach it with the nuts. To make it easier to attach the air spring, we're gonna lift up the rear end with a pole jack. Line up the brackets with the bolts and install the nuts. And then you can tighten the four nuts down with a 14 millimeter wrench or socket. The last thing you need to tighten down is the U-bolt. Make sure you tighten it evenly. 
Now we have to decide where we're gonna put the air lines. You can put them wherever you want. We're gonna put them here on the rear bumper. We're gonna have the driver side one right in this area and the passenger side over here. For this, you wanna drill a 5 16 hole for the valve. Drill the other side. And now we can run the air line. To get both lines out of this kit, you will need to cut it in half. It currently just comes as one line, so just cut it, and now you have two. Grab one of the air lines and install a jam nut and then a star washer. Then we're gonna feed this through the bumper to get it to come out of the hole. Then once it's through, put a rubber washer on there, a metal washer, and then another jam nut. And tighten it down. Tighten the jam nut with a half inch wrench or socket. Okay, we have both air lines installed. Now we're gonna install the air spring for the passenger side and then run the air lines to their respective bags. To protect the air lines from the hot exhaust, it comes with two heat shields that you put on each line. You're gonna put these on the line where it's closest to the exhaust. So we've ran these lines over the spare tire and over this cross member. We're bringing them down and now we're gonna secure them to the parking brake cable to take them to the respective bag. To attach the airline to the bag, make a nice clean cut and just simply push it into the fitting. Pushing it in locks it in place and if you mess up and need to pull it out for whatever reason, push on this outer ring and pull the line and it'll come right off. It's always a good idea to cut them a little long and if you need to, you can make them shorter. The last thing we have to do for this install is install this heat shield on the exhaust pipe that's closest to the passenger side airbag. It secures with two of the provided hose clamps. Get the heat shield secured with both clamps. All right, and our install's finished. All right, so that's how you install Airlift's Load Lifters 5000 Air Spring Kit into your Dodge Ram. It's definitely gonna make this thing a champ at hauling and towing. Install really isn't that bad. I'd say give yourself two to three hours to do this, and before you know it, you'll be heading off-road.